Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Monzor. If you've seen this video, you should smile like Ali right now. Otherwise, I will twist your nape. <laughs> Today, we're going to continue on with Last of Us 2. We are in the dinosaur zone. And I know when I read, I look like this. No, I'm just joking. I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. And all you have to do is do this to accept the fact that I do this, okay? So, uh, yes, let's get out of here. I tried to read for you guys, okay? And trust me, we'll get better. Over time, we will get better. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator? Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Oh, dude. This thing is also in Donna Crisis 2, by the way. Uh, when you play with that guy called Dylan, under, like, close to lava-ish, uh, you have to destroy rocks. These, these look like the normal raptors. Mimesis name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. It's the same thing I thought when I played on a crisis, man. Like, what? Who named these things? Seriously. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Ooh, imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene. <laughs> Did you see her eyes? I said it. That's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. Stegosaurus. Yeah, we checked it out already. In the previous part. So we'll just continue on. That looks just like a normal rhino, right? These are some big heads, dude. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about, the Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. I mean, it's pure speculation, but the evidence is there, I think. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like... Tommy. I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. <laughs> right light. Boom. Tommy. Tommy is stick sculled. Okay. Can we use this door? No. But there's something blocking it. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. This one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Well, I mean, from a movie, but most of the stuff inside a movie... If they have at least the names right, they know somewhat of what they're talking about, right? So... How about what? Talk to me, Joel. Can we go this way? Oh, it's the same place still. Do I go upstairs? Well, oh, there's another hat here. Well, howdy, partner. You try and be in front of me, bro? Ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved him. 
I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. I can't put the hat back on you. Hey, it, it's my birthday, okay? I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to say when you can take off your hat or not. Extinction. Goodness, I, it's hard to read because a lot of this is like blocked out, like half the words. Uh, it's still f not fully understood what caused the... can't read that word. Extinction of the dinosaurs. However, most scientists agree that it was uh, most likely triggered by a large uh, astro... asteroid, most probably reading, uh, hitting the... Yak Yakatan Venezuela in Mexico over 65 years ago or 65 million years ago imagine 65 years ago dude goodness uh 50.3 um mi in diameter the chikolub impact crea uh, created a hole 62 mi wide and n 19 mi deep in the earth uh, this caused the impact that would trigger a mega tsunami over 300 feet tall what a volcanic can't read that and earthquakes worldwide a cloud of extremely hot ash and steam would have spread from the the carter in less than a second after impact destroying everything in its path anything with emission dust or debris covered uh, the earth for years on what one then I can't read that because it's like half of it is is blocked. Um, decades, I guess. Half uh, for Earth for years or even decades. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, the dust would have uh, blocked out the sun's rays, uh, showing photosynthetics to dramatically cooling the Earth's surface. Goodness. That's pretty hard to read, dude. Stars. Right? <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. <laughs> oh, shut up. Take my hat, dude. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? <laughs> Mercury, very Venus. Mother, Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. Educated Earth. My very educated m mother, right? So Earth, Mars, uh, then there's Saturn. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, <laughs> and Neptune. Is it Neptune? I mean, it says that there. I'm reading it over here. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? A monkey. Guess I was a monkey. 
Hmm. Oh, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gum girl, you are smart. Yeah. Fruit flies? How did they become super flies? What? No. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, yeah. they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. What? It makes sense, but still. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that... Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway. He flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. Hmm. How many books have you read about this? Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. Hmm. <laughs> ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. It's true what she's saying, I mean, you don't need to go to space, right? We don't need iPhones and Apples, we don't need Google or YouTube. We don't need all of these things, but you know, it is nice to have, right? One day, bro. Please don't tell me this game will do something like this. This would be absolutely the dumbest thing in the world if this is the case. There have a lot to read here. Here's the buck. We have Tommy and Joe. So that's pretty much... Back when, I guess, when the game started, right? Uh, farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self. Talk to Maria about how, how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found a cool old campground today. Uh, she said the kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these arts supplies. Uh, she cut colors uh, or colored papers and made some crowns for us. It rained uh, wh while it rained outside. It was a good day. Trying to read. Here we go. Uh, Jill said he's thinking he's, he's taking me on a, a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something and he said I'll, uh, the, something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smug old fugie. Uh, Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably, probably not. Dina made me, uh, made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all the papers. The paper, it's pretty great. And then one day, one day, we're gonna dance with these lions. A Mars car. Or is it a Fuck yeah. moon car? Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. How does she know they left it on the moon? 
Maybe they had to, to come back. And how many times do you guys think that Elon Musk went to the moon? Hmm? The South African that finished school, even in South Africa. What the? I never knew that. There was a document about him uh, in my country. Because he was born and raised here and his parents is still here. What? You just threw that on the ground. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. Dude, I don't know, the animations of this game is done super well. I love it. Just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess.
I don't want to cry, dude. <laughs> memories, man. Memories. <clears throat> Let's just get out that out of my throat. Hey, here's a space shuttle with a... Uh, With some solar panels. Loads of them. And we can't really interact with it though. Is that all? Here's the moon. Thanks, girl. I mean, boy. <laughs> Museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? I don't think we can. <laughs> Is he think I'm dead now? Why does it ever think I'm dead? Never, dude. Never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. Well, there seems to be a little bit of a flow here because my character just automatically went back a bit. It's either that or my controller is broken. Guys, hopefully you had an awesome experience there in the spaceship, space museum. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah.